What's up guys, this is Adit from Tech is Easy and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Calendar. So this video is for beginners who don't know much about Google Calendar and just going to be a short tutorial of how to use it and how to create events, etc. So let's get started. First, I'm quickly going to tell you why Google Calendar is so important to learn. So one of its biggest advantages is that it's integrated with Gmail. So any changes that you make over here will reflect on all your other Google accounts and Gmail. Another advantage is that it's synced with your phone. So if you make any changes or if you add an event, then you'll get the notifications on your phone. And the third big advantage is that you can access it from anywhere in the world. All you've got to do is sign into your Google account and then you can access your calendar. So now let's get started. First, what you've got to do is open Chrome. And after that, you can just search Google Calendar or another method is clicking on the three dots which are over here and under all the Google Apps you'll find Calendar so click on that so if you haven't signed in yet they'll make you sign in and after that you can just see that your icon will be on the top right of the screen so now I'm going to give you a quick overview of how this works so over here you can see the calendar with the events so currently there's only one event and to change the view you've just got to click over here. So currently it's written week and now I can change it to day, month, year and many other options. So I'll just make it month for now. And you also have an option to only see your schedule. So for that click on schedule and now you can see what all is coming up in the next few days and months. So when we add events and reminders then this view will make it extremely easy for you to find on which day you have what event. Now I've gone back to the month and if you want a bigger screen to see your calendar, you can click on the three lines which are on the top left. And now you can see that your screen has become bigger. And to bring the menu back, click on the three lines again. So if you want to see which calendar these events are from, you just got to scroll down on the left. And over here, you get the key. So th the dark green is holidays in India. And if you don't want to see that, just click on the stick and you can see that they've gone. So the same way, these are the calendars and you can decide whether you want to see them or hide them. After this, if you want to see next month's calendar, what you've got to do is just click on these arrows over here. So you can see May 2021, June, etc. So now I'm going to show you how to create an event. So to do this, there are two ways. For this, you can either double click on any date where you want to add an event. So if I want to add an event tomorrow, I'll just double click over here. Or if you want to create an event many months from now, then you can click on create over here. So now I'll just double click on 30th April. And here you can see many options. So first, you've just got to add a title. So I'll just call it a reminder. After that, you can decide whether you want it all day or you want it between a certain time. So if you only want it between say 12.30 PM to 1.30 PM, then unselect all day and now you can select it over here so I'll go to 12.30 p.m. and 1.30 p.m. so now it's set on April 30th between 12.30 to 1.30 after that you can decide whether this repeats so currently it doesn't repeat but if you want this to repeat every week or month or you can decide your own schedule there's an option for all of that so there's daily then weekly on Friday. So there are many options. And then there's also custom. So this is where you can decide when it should repeat. So I'll show you how that works. Click on custom. And now you can decide how many times a week, month, year or day you want it to repeat. If I just type three, and then I can decide whether it should repeat every three days, weeks, months or years. Then you can also decide the day whether you want only on Friday or say Wednesday and Friday and after that you can decide when you want it to end so if you only want it for one month then you can decide that it ends on one month from now or you can decide to make it end after occurring some number of times so if I wanted to stop after seven times then just enter seven so now what it's gonna do is that it's gonna repeat every three weeks on Wednesday and Friday and it's gonna continue 
seven times. So now click on done. Then if you want to link Google Meet with this, just click on add Google Meet video conferencing. So now they've linked it with this event and you can see that the invite has come here. After that, you can add a location. So now this is linked with Google Maps. So you can enter any place. So I'll just put Mumbai. And then you can decide how you want to get a reminder for this event. So if you click over here, you can either get an email or a notification on this laptop. And you can decide how many minutes before the event you want to send you the reminder. So if I want 20 minutes, I'll enter that over here. Or if you want to keep it a couple of hours or days before, you can change that from here. I'll just keep it back to 20 minutes. And if you want to add another notification, say one day before, for that, click just select one and go to day. So now it's going to send you two notifications. One will be one day before and one will be 20 minutes before. After this, you can select which calendar you want to save this event on. So if you remember earlier, I had shown you a list of many calendars which were there and now you'll see the same list. So I can save it on either of these three. Then you can also add a color over here. And after that, you can add a description. So I'm just going to type the event is created. You can see all the data over here. And if you want to add guests, under add guests, you should just type the email ID of the guests you want to invite to this event. So now I'll just add, say, tech is easy one. And then you can decide what permissions they get, whether they can invite others, see who all are invited, or then modify the event. So that will give them the liberty to change anything. So you can access all of that from here. And once you're done, click on save. So over here they've asked you whether you'd like to send an email to all the guests. So you can decide that over here. So now this is saved. And you can see that on April 30th at 12.30 there's a reminder. And if you want to see the details, you can just click on it. So these are all the details of the event. And on the day when you want to join the meeting, just click on join with Google Meet and it'll open Google Meet on a new tab. So now if you want to edit or delete a reminder, what you've got to do is click on this icon to edit. And now you can see we've gone back to the old page where you can make all the changes. Now to delete it, again click on the reminder and click on the delete icon. So over here you have an option if you want to send an email to all the guests. And again you can decide whether you want to. Then if you click on the three dots, you can decide whether you want to duplicate it, whether you want to copy it to another calendar. So you can see I have the calendar AA and subscribe over here. So I can copy it to these two calendars. Then I can publish it as an event or I can change the owner. So these are the options which you have over here. Now I'm going to show you how to create more calendars. For that, you've got to go to settings then click on settings and now you've just got to scroll down and over here you can see it's written add calendar so click on that now if you want to create a new calendar then click on this and then you can type the name after that you can add a description and then you can select the time zone and once you're sure you want to create it, just click on create calendar. So now you can see that calendar one has come over here. If you want to subscribe to some calendars, which of your interest, you can again go to add calendar. Then you can browse calendars. So the way I, I had subscribed to Indian holidays, there are many options over here. So say if you're interested in cricket, just click on cricket. And now if you want the calendar of ICC, you can click on that and then add the calendar for a certain team. So if I click on India, then the calendar for India has come. So now the calendar of the Indian cricket team has come. And if I scroll down, you can see that India has come over here. So this is another interesting thing that you can do.
So now I've gone back and I'm going to show you how to share a calendar with others. For that, you've got to select the calendar which you want to share. So say if I want to share the calendar tech is easy, click on three dots. After that, click on settings and sharing. So over here again, you can change the name description and then you have two ways to share it. You can either get a shareable link or you can click on add people and now you can add the email ID of the person you want to share it to. So if I share to tech is easy one again, you can give them permission whether they can only see when you're free or busy, see all your events, make changes or make changes and manage your sharing. And then you can click on send. So now you can see that I've added another email ID to this calendar. And now I'm going to show you another cool feature where you can print this entire calendar. For that, just click on settings over here, then click on print. So then you can either print this or save it as a PDF on your laptop. So they have options over here. You can decide which date to which date you want to print. Then the view, whether you want it day wise or week wise. After that, you can set the font, the orientation, then the colors. And after that, just click on print. Over here, you get a preview of what you're going to print. And then you can either save it as a PDF or print it. And if you want to look for a certain event or reminder, there's a search icon over here. Click on that. So if I search for the reminder, which is called reminder, you can see that it's come seven times. And that's because I had set it for two, for two days occurring seven times. So this is how Google Calendar works. I hope this video helped you and many more videos are going to come soon. Goodbye.